Men are recovering after spending four days trapped inside a cave in Allegheny County. Rescuers say getting them out was the easy part. The biggest challenge was finding where they were. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer was there as the men were freed. Shane, what happened? Brittany, while police were searching for these men above ground, they were actually inside the cave, which is inside that mountain, doing what they could to stay alive. When the missing persons report was filed Monday, one of the victim's dads says he knew by that point his son had gone caving, but he says rescuers didn't go to the cave until locals went in on their own. Rescue gear went up the incline Wednesday in Lowmore as crews worked to save two men trapped in a cave for four days. Jacob Elmore and Jacob Watts went in Saturday. Watts's dad grew worried when they didn't come out. Well, when he didn't show up for work, we started checking around. His credit card hadn't been used. We knew something was wrong. The pair in their 30s went up this mountainside to where it levels off for railroad tracks above. Rescuers traced their steps into the horizontal cave into the side of the mountain. Glenn Hugis was one of the people who pulled them out. Pretty open, a uh, little couple tight crawls that you just had to crawl through, nothing really major uh, just to get to them. They were probably 400 feet into the cave. And from their hypothermia, they were unable to um, exit the cave on their own abilities. The rescuers wouldn't have known to go into the cave, however, had it not been for locals who went in on their own and found them. A missing persons report was filed Monday, and Watts' dad was frustrated that it took random people going in the cave on their own two days later to locate them. There's people out there who've worked hard on this, and I really appreciate it, but I, I'm not really pleased with the... Uh, the way it's handled, uh, it seemed like there was no protocol in place. The rescuers on scene say that's a police issue. The two victims were treated for hypothermia, and rescuers were satisfied with their job. Uh, we were just over two hours from the, from the point of notification to when the patients and, and all rescuers were out of the cave. So everybody did a phenomenal job. Uh, this went probably about as well as could be expected for a cave rescue scenario. The cave is on private property and you have to cross a very active CSX mainline railroad track to get from where they went up, which was the road right here to where the cave goes into the side of the mountain right here. Again, this is all private property, so they trespass to get in through that area. The men, it's unclear at this point if they will face any charges for doing that trespassing. In the studio, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.